Hey everybody, what's going on today? Chewy and I one here coming at you today with uh, Wild Card Weekend picks. Um, I'm excited. I mean, we got the NFL playoffs started. I mean, who thought we would have been here today with the situation that we're in with the pandemic? But we're in the playoffs, man. Uh, Packers are the number one seed. They get the bye week this week. Uh, they get the chance to rest up and heal a little bit and uh, get, wait, get to wait and see who they're going to play this weekend. I mean, uh, next weekend. I'm sorry. Um, so today I've already done my picks. Um, I am in a pool with a couple of my buddies. Uh, we did the spreads for this weekend. Um, I already made my picks. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and share that with you today. And I'll get into the predictions for the rest of the playoffs, I think. And I'll give you uh, who I think will be in the Super Bowl and all that stuff this year. Without further ado, let's get into it. So as you can see, sorry, let me make this smaller because nobody can see my picks. There we go. All right. So as you can see, uh, first game of the day, uh, we get Indianapolis Buffalo. I like Indianapolis plus six and a half in this matchup. Um, straight up, I'm taking Buffalo. I don't think Buffalo loses at home. Um, but for the spread for the six and a half, I think it's a pretty nice point spread for the Indianapolis Colts. Man, they do have a tough defense. Um, as you can see, the matchup analysis. I don't remember everything off the top of my head. I know the uh, Indianapolis Colts have a really good defense. So do the Buffalo Bills. It's a tough place to play. There's no way Phillip Rivers is going to pull off this upset. It's not going to happen. Um, but this will be in tight. This will be a tightly contested game. Um, as you can see here, I mean, look how close they are here. I mean, points per game: twenty-eight point two for the Colts. Um, we got a 31.3 for the uh, Buffalo Bills. Points against, points against, I mean, they're pretty similar. There's a 0.8 points differential there. Yards per game, clearly Buffalo's ahead with Stefan Diggs and all those guys. Uh, yards against per game, 332. So, I mean, this is this is a nice game where you can make some money off of, I think, with a 6.5 point spread. I wish it was 7 because at 7 I feel very, very confident. I mean... But 6.5, I think, is good. I think uh, Indianapolis is good enough to not get blown out. I think they lose this game uh, somewhere along the lines of maybe 37, 37, 34, something like that. Or, you know, 37, 31, something like that. I think that's, I think that's how Indianapolis loses this game. I don't think they get blown out. Um, I think it'll be a touchdown game. Well, less than a touchdown game. And... Uh, We'll see what happens. But, yeah, I feel confident with my pick there. Plus six and a half for the Indianapolis Colts. Indianapolis Colts. Oh, my God. Excuse me. It's the morning. Sorry, guys. I haven't had any breakfast or anything like that. I had to get to this video right away because I'm in a pool and I had to make these picks quickly. This one I'm iffy on. I do like Seattle minus four and a half. I don't know the situation with Jared Goff right now. Um, I think last we saw, I still think Jared Goff still has the issue. I don't know if Sean McVay has made a decision on who he's going to take. Um... But I mean, I don't, I don't, honestly, I don't. The Rams have a tough defense, right? I mean, these games have been pretty close too, all throughout the year. And I just, I feel like Russell Wilson can cover four and a half in this game. Especially if Jared Goff doesn't play. I don't know where the points are going to come from. I do know Los Angeles has a great defense, and they've played each other th twice already this year. These Both these teams know each other. These games are always tough when it comes to conference, when it comes to divisional games. Um, but I think safe bet here. I think Seattle can win this minus four and a half. I think they can cover that four and a half. I think Russell Wilson's good enough. I think the offense is good enough. I don't know what's been going on with him lately with trying to get the ball. DK Metcalf and those guys. I don't know what the issue is. Uh, if it's the offensive line, but their defense has improved. Uh, but again, if Jared Goff doesn't play, I, I, I just don't see Los Angeles putting up enough points to win this game. Uh, straight up. I'll take Seattle minus four and a half. I will go ahead and take the Seattle Seahawks as well. Um, Seattle's got them points per game, but I mean defense. I mean this. I mean, give it up to Los Angeles. They have one of the better defenses in the NFL. I don't want to see this team going to, to Lambeau. Um, they're just that good, man. Um, so this could be a tight game here, but I, th I think Russell could take it with a late touchdown, somewhere along the lines of maybe I don't know, twenty-seven. 27 17 something like that i mean i think they won. i think they won by 10 depending on if jared golf plays if jared golf plays i think they, i think they win this game 27 21 something like that um it'll be one of those tight games um this is gonna be i don't is it gonna be high scoring i don't know i mean the last game wasn't that wasn't that exciting with jared golf so um we'll see what happens i like the minus four and a half here with seattle and straight up as well 
Tampa Bay is Washington. I don't think there's much to explain here. I don't think Alex Smith is going to play. Tom Brady going on the road against Washington. I know the Washington Redskins do have a great, pretty good defense, the defensive line. I just think uh, this is a game where Tom Brady is going to show off his skills. This is his first time in the NFC side of things in the playoffs. Uh, minus seven and a half. Um, I'll take I'll take Tampa Bay. I mean, uh, they got the experience with Tom Brady. Um, granted, that team has not been to the playoffs, but Tom Brady with that playoff experience, Bruce Arians has been there before as well. Um, I just don't I, I don't see. Uh, I mean, this could be a blowout. This game can be a blowout. Alex Smith doesn't play. By the way, this could be thirty five seven kind of kind of shit. Um, but I do think they cover the, the seven and a half. If I had to put a score on it, I would say maybe 34-17, something like that. Um, I like Tampa Bay in this game straight up. I like them with minus 7.5 easily. Um, Alex Smith probably won't play. I mean, it's just it's unfortunate. Um, but I would like to see Alex Smith go out in the playoffs, especially with everything he's been through. Uh, but things happen, and um, it is what it is, right? So that, that was the easiest one for me to make. Um, this is a tough one. Tennessee-Baltimore. I think they played earlier this year. If I have that corrected, let me just see. Hold on a minute. One second, one second. Hold on. I think they played earlier this year, and I think Tennessee took the win or Baltimore. I'm not sure. Um, I'm just got to double check. Sorry, guys. Again, Saturday morning. Forgive me. Forgive me. Yes, they did, and they won in overtime 30-24. Uh, last year, um, Tennessee ran all over them. I mean, that was at home in Baltimore. Uh, this game is in Tennessee. Uh, but Baltimore has been coming on, man, and they have been playing well. And uh, they're on a bit of a winning streak, I believe. Um, so, I mean, and Tennessee's defense isn't what it was last year, too. People have to remember that. The defense wasn't the same. Baltimore still has a pretty strong defense. It just comes down to Lamar Jackson, and he can perform. If they can stop Derrick Henry... Baltimore could win this game straight up. I like Lamar Jackson versus uh, Ryan Tannehill. My opinion, um, I think Tannehill has the better wide receivers. I just think Lamar Jackson is just a tad bit more talented with his legs, uh, his arm. I mean, they're, they're both. I mean, I don't know. I think they both are similar with the arm. Um, but I just like Lamar Jackson. He's just um, more. He's just a talented. I think he's just a more superior. I think he's a, I think he's just more talented than Ryan Tannehill. But I do like Tennessee plus three and a half. I think this is a field goal game. I think if either team wins this, it's gonna come down to a three. It's gonna be a three point game. I don't think either one's gonna win by a touchdown, fourteen, nothing like that. I have it. I mean, you saw a thirty twenty four there. That's a six point game at that point in overtime. I think this is a. 30-27 kind of game. I choose Tennessee because of the plus three and a half. This is one of the upsets of the weekend. I will take Baltimore on the road straight up to beat the Tennessee Titans. That's just my opinion. I like Baltimore in this game. Um, straight up with the spread, give me Tennessee plus three and a half. Um, this is good, probably going to be the best game of the week. I think, in my opinion, right here, it's going to be it's going to be between Baltimore, Tennessee, and Indianapolis, Buffalo. Uh, for th uh, third place, I would go with Seattle, Los Angeles as games of the week to watch if you want to be entertained this week. Um, Chicago, New Orleans. Uh, I'm a Packer fan. Uh, that has nothing to do with this pick, though. <laughs> New Orleans is going to win this one. I think they're going to win this one big by 14. Um, I'm not sold on Mitchell Trubisky. I'm not sold on the uh, Bears defense going to New Orleans. They got a good defense, but they're going to New Orleans. Granted, I don't think Alvin... I haven't checked on this. Is Alvin Kamara playing? We're going to find out right now, actually. What's going on? Uh, Alvin Kamara status. Today. What's going on? News. There's nothing on this. See, I'm iffy on this. I don't know if Alvin Kamara is going to play. I don't know. That's weird. So I don't think he plays in this game. But still, without Alvin Kamara, I think the New Orleans Saints had a great showing the week before against Carolina on the road. Um, I like New Orleans with a minus 9.5. I think this is probably one of the easier bets of the weekend. I know this is a big spread here. Minus 9.5. I don't think Chicago keeps close. I think New Orleans walks away with it very easily. It's straight up. I take New Orleans easily. This one, unfortunately... Cleveland lost their coach and some players to COVID. 
They have Pittsburgh at minus three and a half. I'll take Pittsburgh minus three and a half in this game. I know Big Ben's been struggling. I know, uh, you know, just that in general. I mean, they don't really have a run game this year. Um, their defense is still solid. This is Cleveland's first playoff game in like what, eighteen years, nineteen years, something like twenty. I don't know. It's been too long. So I think uh, Baker Mayfield's first playoff game. I think he'll get. You know, this is learning. This is a learning curve experience. I think Pittsburgh wins this game, straight up. And with the minus three and a half. Uh, so that'll do it for my picks for this weekend. My picks overall, I okay, Super Bowl, I have Packers, Chiefs, and I have Packers winning the Super Bowl. Um, I'm calling it now. I know that's a hot take. Um, but I, th- I, I just, I think with home field advantage this year, I think with, I mean, Aaron Rodgers is on a mission. He's here to prove that he is, if not one of the, if not the best quarterback in the league. So that's just me. Um, we'll get into next week's games next week. Uh, this is my picks for this week and, uh, that'll be it. So, uh, anyways, guys, that's it for me today. I um, just want to get my picks out there before the game started today. I was slacking on this. I mean, we're going to get a game here at 12 five in the next like two hours here. So, um, but that's it for me. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Uh, do you agree, disagree with my picks? What are your picks? Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And, uh, if you can, please like dislike the video uh subscribe to my channel we'll have more content coming up shortly and uh, that'll be it you guys have a great day enjoy wildcard weekend peace